so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and OpenAI has recently added a very interesting element to chat gpt that is chat gpt study mode which is for students and it is a little different from normal chat gpt and helps you learn topics it also asks you quiz provides illustration and what not so in this short video i would be demonstrating you how you can use chat gpt study mode and what are its key features so let's get started you can access the feature for free for a limited hits so first of all go to tools and here you can see there are new options study and learn click here learn something new and let's try to learn about attention mechanism today help me understand the attention mechanism in transformers so the output coming out for this would be very different i was just testing it out for other concepts also and it's quite an interesting element they have added so let's hit enter great let's start from what you already know have you come across the idea of word embeddings or how model represent words as vectors so as you can see it is not giving you a full answer straight away it is asking you what do you know i know nothing i am a complete beginner let's see what does it do we will start right at the roots and build it up together imagine you are reading a sentence like the cat sat on the mat because it was tired now the question is what does it refer to you know it's the cat not the mat here it has started teaching me the concept every word becomes a vector attention comparing vectors weighted average etc want to try an example with me you can also ask questions or say wait repeat step 2 which is totally fine so it's a new thing they have added yeah let me explain with an example also it would be great if you can give an illustration too so as you can see it is not directly giving you an answer but building knowledge for you do remember this as you can see perfect give me a short sentence you want to use something like she poured water in the glass because it was empty once you give a sentence i will let you explain it first in your own words uh so which sentence shall we try i love data science in your pocket let me promote my channel a bit so i have given it a sentence nice pick that sentence works well now your turn can you try explain how the tension mechanism might work in the sentence maybe pick up a word like love or pocket and think if the model is focusing on that word which other words might it pay attention to it's a pretty interesting concept if you look they are not giving you a direct answer but building knowledge for you they are also it is also trying to question you because okay, what is your understanding right now i feel that attention mechanism would be paying attention to love data science and pocket and might leave out other words that's a strong instinct you are already thinking like an attention map you said attention might focus on love data science and pocket skip the rest that's exactly the kind of filtering attention does so it will compare love to all the other words especially data science data science very related in your pocket very nice answer and now it has given you a visual uh, illustration as well yeah that would be great if you can give me a short example Let's flip it and imagine the model is now focusing on pocket trying to understand what pocket really means in the sentence step by step model thinking about the pocket let's break that down pocket your in science and data love and i lower not directly useful to understand pocket very nice explanation i would say and i might use it in my next block too now the model uses this course to build a new understanding of pocket not just as a stand alone word but a place where data science exists personalized for you yeah i want to test my understanding now so as you can see it started off with what do you know then start explaining also ask me what are my intuition on certain sentences and now it is asking whether you want to test it out or not here is your sentence your task if the model is focusing on the word they which other words in a sentence should it pay most attention to a very interesting problem statement has given to understand attention 
it must be paying attention to tom jerry playing son Solid start. You are on the right track. Let's sharpen it up. Tom and Jerry, I think it is absolutely playing. Yep. Sun, maybe, but lower. And it is also giving me an example heat map too. Let's take a quick recap and let's try the same question with our chat GPT without the study mode. And let's see what outputs we get. So let's try out the same question. Help me understand the attention mechanism in transformers. Hit enter. And you can see that here it has started off directly giving you an answer. It is giving you a direct answer. It is not helping you build the understanding. Try to understand. It will give you one short answer and then that's it. But so when you are using study and learn it will eventually it was helping you to reach to a solution like a teacher explaining the concept. So I think that's the difference. It looks great to be honest for teachers and for students. It's a boon because you're not getting a direct answer like x square plus y square equals to what? Instead, it is helping you to solve the problem rather than giving a direct answer. Study and learn looks to be good, but I think you need to try it out for yourselves as well and then see how useful it is for you. Thank you so much.